all these currencies, whether it's the pound, whether it's the euro, whether it's the dollar, are all safe haven currencies, right? We seldom talk about the euro and the pound as safe mm -hmm. safety assets, but they are, right? Not as much as a, uh, as a U.S. dollar. So how do you think this, this rate differential story will play out if rates in Europe go lower before rates in the U.S. do? I think it's a reflection of the differences in terms of the fundamentals in these regions. I think what we are seeing in the Eurozone as well as in UK is that inflation is starting to moderate and uh, the economic momentum is uh, not that strong, more muted compared to that of the US. And I think especially if the US is set to grow closer to 3% compared to 2%, uh, I think fundamentals in the US continue to hold up. I think despite the recent weakness in, in data, but one data point may not still mean that uh, the, the trend of US weakness is coming. Mm. It may, we may still need three to six months of uh, data to, to really confirm that the hypothesis. Yeah. So I think in the, in the meantime, I think US economy still looks fairly, fairly resilient towards any uh, potential rate cuts, and I think the Fed can still afford to be more patient. Indeed, indeed. Uh, Jeff, I want to also uh, flag what's happening with uh, the currency markets in China. Mm. Uh, in the spot offshore and the NDF market, that is, uh, the yuan has weakened a bit, 7.22 for a spot rate. If you could just uh, show the wall to our viewers, 7.23 for offshore, and the one-year NDF is going in at sharp the seven handle. Mm. What did you make of the data from China? Well, looking at the data that was released uh, today, as yeah. well as uh, over the, the past week, it's a bit of a mixed bag. Overall, there's some positives from industrial production and export growth also climbed after contracting previously. So growth is likely to be more manufacturing as well as external demand driven this year. I think in the meantime, of course, the domestic fundamentals may still take some time to correct. I think what we do watch for is uh, in terms of the sentiment in, in China. I think we, when the sentiment starts to improve and we are st starting to see some green shoots uh, emerge from the equity market, uh, it may take weeks, uh, months, quarters, but I think eventually this peak pessimism should reverse and I think that should help with uh, some consumer spending, maybe not now, maybe not in the next quarter, but perhaps uh, a little more by the last quarter but of the year. will the cent central bank in China, the PBOC, allow the yuan to weaken further from here, go all the way to 7.30 and beyond? I think there's a bit of a chance. We don't see that as our core scenario for now. I think 70, 80 percent, I think we still see that the PBOC will keep, keep the daily fixing relatively unchanged around the 7.1, 7.11% uh, sorry, 7.1, 7.11 handle. But there's a slight chance perhaps uh, they will shift the fixing slightly higher uh, a bit by bit every single day towards uh, 7.15 to 7.2. I think that will also mean that probably we will see a top side of uh, 7.3 if that happens. But so far, I think we, we, we maintain our view that uh, dollar CNH should be within the range of 7.2 to 7.25 and possibly you know, go lower towards 7.1 by end of the year.